uh, Toshiko is a researcher and uh, chronicler, is what I started out with. Uh, she is super excited to go out and gather data to send back to uh, back to the cloister over how the world has changed. This is Psyche. She's very shy, but... <laughs> uh, has a lot of power. Yes, that's me, Yakum. Well... It's been a wonderful time here so far, living inside the cloister, but there's only so much that we can do, and there's so much more outside. There's so many people to meet, and so many things to find, and cook up to bring back here to broaden our experience. And, uh, well, I would introduce you to, to my best boy, Robin, but I believe he is sleeping. He ate quite recently about... 30 minutes ago and is still napping. Debbie Ace Jones, thank you. Uh, I'm a scrapper here. I uh, get by taking the parts that people don't need and reusing them. And uh, I'm excited to see the new world and figure out the truth of what happened after all. That is Eris. She is my best friend and my partner in crime. Yes. Uh, I have been training in survivalism and combat. I am here to protect the uh, new group of rebuilders. So that way, when we step out into the world, they don't immediately get killed. I guess you could say I'm the brawn of the operation. Yep, this this is, this is Brienne. She is my beefy baby, and she, she is a good girl. She is a very good girl, and you don't want to mess with her. Layla. All right. <laughs> you had to say something, right? Mm -hmm. I did. That's how it always goes. You have a dream. Drink the urge to sing I Dream to Dream. You dream of an area overcast with a massive thunderstorm. Typhoons and hurricanes pouring down. You see flashes and cracks of lightning illuminate the landscape. And you see ruined buildings and structures uh, walking the cracked and ruined streets. In the streets you see the silhouettes of people and the shadows of Pokemon wandering aimlessly and senselessly about. And among them you see a peculiar shape. It appears to be the shape of a cloaked human and they seem to be looking towards you. They whisper to you, I need your help. There's desperation in their voice. And then lightning will strike once more, and you will see a massive, shadowy worm, serpent-like figure behind them with wings outstretched before it strikes down on them, and then you wake up in your room. Okay. <laughs> um... Is Brienne still sleeping, or did she wake up too? Brienne looks a lot rather concerned as you've just sort of, like, w shot up in a cold sweat. No. Don't, don't worry about me. I'm fine. Don't. She goes up okay. and sort of, like, nuzzles and hugs you. Baby, I'm gonna hug her back. Here, come on. Don't uh, worry about it. We'll, we'll be fine. Let's... Let's go get something to eat. I know it's safe, but 
There you go. Yep. See, that's that's. Brienne immediately starts like skittering to the door of your quarters, scraping against it. Hey, 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 hey! Be nice. <laughs> Not until you stop scratching it. Um, commander all. So, uh, with that, um, Brienne will stop what she's doing and listen to you. And she will <laughs> walk. Uh oh. Hello? My baby! Back. Hello? Welcome so, back. Sorry. Hello? I guess I cut out for a second. Yeah, we, we didn't did. hear anything. Uh, I just said that Brienne stops what she's doing and goes back over to you. Thank you. Toshiko up to currently. Uh, Toshiko is uh, preparing documents to collate data. She's expecting to have lots of new information, and so it's All right. she's got documents uh, ready for places to go exactly where they should. Wonderful, wonderful. So, you have been working very diligently all day, and um, as you do, um, you will suddenly feel a hand tap you on the shoulder. Uh, Toshi jumps a little bit and turns to look. You whirl around and see your good friend and mentor, Professor Cypress, standing behind you, looking rather, uh, embarrassed that she startled you. Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I was just, uh, checking in. How are things? Uh, things are... I have, uh... I'm really excited. Um... She's going to sort of, like, peer at the monitor, and she'll, like, adjust her glasses as her eyes widen. Oh, wow! Toshi, you know... You know those papers aren't, like, expected to be submitted until next week, right? Oh, no, 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 no. If, if I have my spreadsheets ready and know exactly where I'm going to be putting species data, height, weights, like, all, everything that I'm going to be recording uh, with the Pokedex and... Uh, ev- I, I thought I'd be ready. <laughs> <laughs> and then she is going to, like, laugh, but then she'll, like, nod at you and say, I, Well, I must say that I'm impressed. I don't even think I could get such uh, organization done so efficiently. <sighs> Heck, I can barely keep the lab together. You do all right, Professor. Aw, oh, thanks. It means a lot for you to say that. But also, speaking of doing all right, when was the last time you ate? Eight? Eight? Uh, she Toshi, kind of just, like, looks we've down. been over this. Well, I know that you get very into your work, and I appreciate the dedication, but your work needs to also be focused on taking care of yourself as well. I wasn't feeling hungry, but I suppose I. And then am you just hungry. feel your suddenly. You then suddenly hear your stomach let <laughs> out a just r- loud. Ooh. Sure about that? I hadn't been, uh, but your advice seems sound. <laughs> Alright. Run along to the cafeteria. Your work will be right here when you get back. Or heck, yes, if you want, just bring the laptop. Uh, like, there's kind of a furtive expression and then a quick snatching of the laptop as she uh, grabs the laptop under one hand uh, reaches out for uh, Psyche with the other hand uh, uh, who is, is Psyche in the room or is she Oh yeah in the she other is. Room? She's currently curled up and napping just beside your laptop because it's warm and it produces electricity and she likes that. Yeah. Uh, so she can go in uh, <laughs> the collar of my lab coat uh, as I pick her up and gently place her uh, snatch the laptop and uh, hightail it. So yeah. You scoop up, uh, you scoop up Psyche, and as you do, and just tuck her in your coat, um, she'll sort of, like, just sort of, like, jolt awake slightly. Ah, ah, 
And she just sort of like looks around with what's going on. Shh, shh, no, 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 honey. It's okay. We're just gonna go get some food. Um. All right. Uh, roll via Pokemon Education or uh, Charm Roll, dealer's choice. Uh, I'm. I, I think I know exactly which one of those I'm gonna do. Right on. Uh. Uh, it's gonna be this one. Hey. Shh, no, 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 hush now. It's okay. You feel her start to sort of vibrate and buzz a little bit, but as you soothe her, she will just sort of, like, drift back to, uh, content days within your lab coat. You know how Everything to handle Psyche. it should be. One might even say you're in her head. <laughs> the door to the cafeteria's, uh, kitchen... Swing open, and you see the chef's Machamp standing in the double doors. His, two of his arm, uh, one set of his arms crossed, and the other holding a turner in one hand and a knife in the other. Stealth roll. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh oh. I just have this image of. Yakum yep. heading in, immediately bursts in, and the Machap is literally yep. staring at the doors, and then as he looks at the timer, suddenly he's gone again. So, like... You just start sliding to the side. So, <laughs> you duck behind the doors as they swing open to try and avoid Machamp's gaze. You wait for him to turn around, and you just start to try and slowly creep in, but then you will suddenly feel yourselves pulled very suddenly and forcefully by Machamp's arms as he looks to you and just starts scolding you in Machamp. Before dragging you each to your stations. Scold him! I was awake! You know that! Ma! Machamp! Ma! I'm going to take the last pudding cup. Mm -hmm. That said, um, Layla looks kind of like she's seen a ghost. She's distracted. I'll use that to my advantage. <laughs> Toshi greets uh, Eris and Brienne warmly. Mm -hmm. uh, Brienne, like, waves gleefully at Toshiko and uh, sort of runs and scampers over to her, running between her legs. Hello, friend. We're gonna be getting some good food soon. Are you excited? I know, me too. Brienne just starts, like, jumping excitedly and hyperactively at the mention of food. Now we have to wait in line, right? And they'll give us our food, and then we can enjoy it. Brienne grumbles. Now what happened last time you cut in line? I didn't cut, I grabbed. I, I didn't say you did. Brienne tends oh. to. Did oh, you just I... out yourself? No. Hello, Eris. How are you today? Am I? Am I moving? She, uh, I'm going to, uh, squeaks happily. To, I'm going to pet Evie since she's kind of just chilling on my shoulder. Uh... Toshi holds a hand out and asks, May I? Say bye bye! Did she, she uh, you? She like nuzzles against your hand. I give her some good nuzzles. She deserves it. Cheater. Hey, Your scandalous tart is what you are, Eris. Hey, boy! All right. Eventually, you will make your way over to the counter where you will see your other acquaintance, Jakob, working diligently with Munchlax to serve the uh, lunch rush. You also see Munchlax, like, fighting the urge to just devour everything in front of him. <laughs> I, I cannot wait to come up with a combination attack that I'm going to call the lunch rush. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Please. 
Hell yes, brother. I love it. Beautiful. So, did you guys hear about the announcement? What about what it, announcement? I mean, I've been in the lab all day. <laughs> I mean, it hasn't been made yet, but, like, word amongst the core is that there's going to be some big announcement uh, from the commander. I... I hear that we may be deploying soon. Oh. Like, how soon? Um, Ace asks while he's giving uh, Eris a little bit of the banana cream pudding. One would assume they would give us a reasonable amount of notice. I haven't even started to pack. Well, are you doing all right? You look kind of... Like you woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Oh, um, no, I'm if, I'm fine. I'm good. I if just... you push your bed against the wall, Layla, you only wake up on one side of the bed. It works for me. Uh, thanks, Layla. Thanks, thanks, AJ. I'll keep that in mind. Layla, make me a make me a guile roll. Ah, crap. That's what I'm bad at! Um, you... Did you dream that, like, you walked out of your room completely naked? Because I have one time, that's the most, like, I woke up mortified. Hmm. Uh, no. I don't know. There's lightning and a shadow, and that's it. Um, this actually strikes you guys as very strange, because... That sounds chillingly similar to a dream that Ace had last night and that Toshiko had the night before. Weird. Now, when you say shadow, was there, like, a shadowy some sort of worm? Behind the figure? I, I guess you could say it was kind of like a dragon. You know, long dragon wings, maybe. I had some a dream rather along those same lines two nights ago. <sighs> Seems odd that there would be a link between why would we share a dream Cece did you have a dream like that um no not really I usually just dream about the ocean why would you dream about something that terrifying terrifying the ocean is amazing it's so big and vast, and there's so many things living in it, and, and and even before the impact, there was just so much we didn't know about it. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to see it. I hope it's still there. Toshi nods excitedly in agreement. Ace is going to look over at Layla and Toshi, like, eyes wide and mouth. Is she insane? Polly's just gonna start, like, looking up and leaning against, uh, Cecilia as well. Their eyes sparkling wistfully. Layla looks back to, to Ace and goes, like, probably. Yeah, you have actually just, uh, been cleared for your own lunch break, Jakob, which Robin is super eager for. I am uh, going to make sure that I hold the door open for him. I don't want to get in his way, as I have no desire to go to the med bay at this day. So, <laughs> as you hold the door open, he's just going to go, like, peeling out. And he, he just... is actually, like, the most agile munchlets. Also, I improved his... <laughs> I, I actually specifically improved his acrobatics and athletics with two new points. Wonderful. Then in that case, could you please have him make an athletics roll for me real quick? Oh, oh fuck, absolutely. 
Because yeah, well, depending on how this goes, this is going to be hilarious or hilariously amazing. <laughs> oh, I mean, that's okay, actually, that's, uh... Yeah. No. That's not terrible. No, For now, an eight will be more than enough to have him avoid colliding into the wall as he just sort of, like, screeches to a stop before it. Just heaves a sigh of, uh, relief that he didn't faceplant into the wall again. You know, I had a dream the other night as well. Kind of like, uh, you know the, that, uh, that fake protein we get that has, it's kind of shaped like a, kind of like a hog, something like that. I had a dream about going outside the cloister and seeing those, but flying through the sky with wings like some kind of sky meat. Much, yeah! Much likes his mouth waters at that. Dreamed about food flying. As you all see, uh, Jakob join you. Oh, Jakob! Managed to get your break? Do you, do you not dream of food? As he sits down and nods towards Cecilia. <laughs> Brienne does. Your concentration will suddenly be sort of, uh, disturbed by a loud and, uh, piercing shrill voice. <laughs> what a ridiculous notion! You turn around and you see one of the, uh, resident scientists and a total kiss-up to Professor Sakura, or C Cypress, sorry, and, um, a... Something of a, uh, I guess the vault's equivalent, or the cloister's equivalent of a rich kid. One Dudley Jagger standing behind you in his smarm, smarmy expression, adjusting his glasses smugly. Only fools dream of such ridiculous things as flying breakfast meat. Can't, be any, more can't be any more ridiculous than your dreams, Jagoff. No, it's it Jagger! Jagger! Nobody wants your opinion, douche Jag. It's <laughs> Jagger! You know my name is Jagger! That's that's even better, I gotta give it to you. We We know Jagger, but we don't care is the thing. Now, why don't you go and find someone who wants to eat with you if you're so smart? <laughs> As if I need to surround myself with plebeians, and yet you're still talking to us. <laughs> Goodbye. And he'll just sort of, like, stomp off. Um, lunch will come to an end, and you will all get some calls on your poke gear. Calls or texts? Calls. Ring, ring. Uh, the holotuner function flashes, and the image of, um... Professor Grand Oak appears before you. Greetings, Rebuilders! I hope you all enjoyed your lunches. Once you're finished, please come down to the main assembly hall at your earliest convenience. Commander Surge has an announcement. That is... Well, you're gonna want to hear this. Also, for the record, uh, Professor Grand Oak is an interactive AI, so you can speak to him and converse with him. Um, can you give us any deets as to what this is about? Uh, I'm not at liberty to discuss it at this time, but, uh, think of it as a surprise. I don't like surprises. Information dissemination will be most efficient when everyone can hear it. Exactly! We'll Toshi gets it! Toshi, why'd you have to speak nerd to him? Because... I think you were cool. Be because I... am nerd? Yeah, Toshi kind of looks to Layla, just kind of, like, confirming. You're just jealous because she speaks my language! I don't want to speak your language. Well, in any case, I'll see you at the assembly. If you need anything, just give me a call. And he will then uh, vanish back into the Poke Gear. Thank you, Professor. Ace is going to uh. smirk at them and 
say, should I call him back and ask him the same question? You know what? You should. I will. I'm going to call the professor back. All right. Grand Oak appears once again. Hello, Ace. How can I be of assistance? So can you tell us any information about what the meeting is about? He just gives you this look. You think you're funny, don't you? Oh, I think I'm adorable. Is there anything you could tell us? Just like a tiny little hint? Mm. I'll say this. Things are looking up. Gives Cece a look. Cece's eyes just sort of like widen and glow with hope. She's just will then well, like pack. start wolfing down the food and just like clears her tray at once. I'm gonna go see you guys in the assembly hall. You can us. We're all going to the same place. Let's speed up, Slowbox. Oh, whoa, Cece. <laughs> I'm going to give Eris the rest of my banana cream pudding. So, Ace, as you go to hand, um, to hand off your pudding, um, I'm going to need, um, Evie or you to make me a, uh, what, ch- what check would that be? Perception. And I am going to need Robin to make me an athletics. Okay, I am going to attempt to guide Robin out this time, putting my hand behind him and trying to mush mush him through the doorway. Well, right now, he's trying to dive for that pudding that's being handed off. Well, I'm trying! I'm not succeeding! I'm already loving this. And we haven't even gotten to the good stuff yet. Oh, oh, much boy. like oh, food. <laughs> it is seek what and is destroy so time. That is the best you can roll, and you have been slain. Now perish. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> you go to hand off now the pudding perish. as if nothing was happening. Eris goes to, like, eat at it, but then... And then much like, just, like, fucking... Jump dives, grabs the pudding in its mouth, spirals down, just like a perfect point landing, and just starts running off into the hallway. And poor Eris just looks devastated before chasing after Munchlax. Eris, Eris, no! Eris! Ah, 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 ah. Uh, Hippo Eris starts. Is right ahead, Ace so is going to be running after them. And he's going to yell, I stole it! I earned it! And he just <laughs> takes off. <laughs> Alright. And, uh, Jakob is going to chase after Eris with a mini chocolate pancake in his hand trying to distract them. <laughs> and with that, I believe now is a good time to call our first break for the evening. Wonderful. Toshiko takes another bite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Toshi and Psyche are just left there. As everybody goes to chase, oh my god. 